and some warm weather together at the longest table in Ottumwa. The Ottumwa Leadership Academy hosted the first event last year as a way to celebrate the group's 10-year anniversary. KTBO's Maddie Lee was there. Nothing brings people together like a good meal, which is why the Ottumwa Leadership Academy has set up the longest dinner table behind me on Main Street in Ottumwa as a way to bring the community together, meet new people, share stories, and exchange new ideas. Yeah, I met, met several people. Um, two of them were named Chris. They're both from the Marshall Islands. And then uh, uh, another person uh, is a first generation Italian immigrant. It's, it's kind of cool just to hear about our community in that way. Uh, not a lot of people know about all the ba diverse background that we bring people in, especially in this community. So we just want to make sure they all get to know people more here. And then uh, that's how we started last year. And it was a successful event. For the growing Ottumwa Marshallese community, it was a way to better introduce themselves to the longtime residents in town. To encourage them, to make them feel more comfortable around people and around the community, because, you know, there is, there is people that are shy, you know, embarrassed to do things, so I bring them here to be more close to the community and to more people. Pastor Jocelyn was the first Marshallese immigrant to move to Ottumwa just about 12 years ago. For newer immigrants who may not be as comfortable with their English language skills or their new surroundings, the longest table was the perfect exercise to help them feel more integrated in the community. Uh, really fun people and it was, it was cool to hear their stories of what's it like growing up on the Marshall Islands and how they get to Ottumwa. The Ottumwa Leadership Academy says that based on survey feedback, the event will likely become something to look forward to each summer. Last year after uh, the event, we sent out a survey and said those things. Did you meet somebody new or did you reconnect with somebody? And so most people said yes, and then everyone, like 99% said yes, let's do this again. Maddie Lee, KTVO News. Next tonight, the hunt continues for the convicted killer who escaped from a Pennsylvania